Six months ago, we set out to transform a Mercedes Sprinter into our very own Golf Tour Bus, which you will have seen in some of the recent videos. And we thought you might like to see how we transform this into this. Oh, and a word of warning, there is no golf featured in this video. Right, good morning, welcome back to what is now episode six. We're flying along and uh, Hannah yesterday finished, I was gonna say, I don't even know what the channel's called yet. We're working backwards. We filmed what is obviously now six episodes and still haven't decided on the name of the channel. So you obviously know that. And hopefully by now we're also uh, getting a few subscribers. So uh, you can help us out by hitting those like buttons and subscribing if you do like what you're seeing. But in terms of yesterday, first of all, you finished yeah, off. Finally uh, finished the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're all painted. Yeah. Finally done. Ceiling done. Ceiling's done. But today it's quite exciting. Yeah. Um, you might have seen in previous videos we've actually put the kitchen in just to get an idea of where it, everything's going. But that needs to come back out because we're putting the floor down. Yeah. Exciting. So yeah. we've, uh, we've got some what I think really nice floor tiles which mm. we bought in the sale in B and Q. Yeah. So reasonably priced they look good and i think they sound as though they're going to be hard wearing for the kind of in and out of the van and that kind of thing how easy or difficult they are to fit we'll find out hannah's done a quick watch on youtube already yeah it's got a bit of an idea but so she's the expert we'll, we'll find out very soon how quickly how easy rather or difficult they are to fit and as ever penny will be uh shouting in the background yeah only pen right let's get started so the tiles that we're putting down are these things they're called well, they're called jazzy, but they're, they're, they're the important they bit, they are jazzy, they're scratch resistant vinyl click tiles and they <laughs> seem to click together fairly easy. Um, but in, the, the 10 year guarantee, an interesting thing for me is I'd watched other videos where people had saved money uh, on their flooring and really regretted it and ended up ripping it back up and relaying on sort of better quality stuff. So it seems like they're fairly robust, there's not a lot of movement in them, but there mm. is in terms of the fan floor for any kind of movement but the surface itself seems really good. Uh, and then to go under it is this final floor underlay, which was specifically recommended to go under mm -hmm. these. How much difference it makes, I don't know, but it's not a massive cost because it's a fairly small area that, you, uh, that you, you're looking to put the floor down. But we are doing it right the way throughout, and I suppose we could have sort of just done the bits that you see, but we decided to do the whole floor so that when you lift anything up in terms of the back end uh, cupboards and things like that, you'll still see a really neat finish or at least that's the plan anyway but at least as it stands now it looks really good and hopefully it'll look good when it goes down now before we go any further one thing i forgot to mention we've already pre-drilled a hole in the floor in this uh, in this back corner which is going to go uh, through our, our subfloor and right through to the outside and the reason is it's going to be a feed out because we're going to have a gas bottle in here that's how we've decided that we're going to uh, fuel our cookers and perhaps other bits as well but as again I understand is that it's important to have an outlet to the outside because uh, gas is heavier than oxygen and it'll leak out of the floor rather than into the van so obviously we'll have sort of carbon monoxide monitors inside the van but as a precaution i think they recommend that you put a hole into the outside air and in theory if you do have a leak of some sort which hope you don't then it dissipates into the air outside of the van do you like that word dissipates yeah where did that come from the van So we're just putting the underlay down and we've just come up with a genius plan midway through. Do you want to explain? So the underlay is fairly easy to cut, as you've probably seen. Uh, tile's not so easy. To get this shape around the, uh, the wheel arch, we've lifted the underlay back up before we glue it down. And I've got a bit of cardboard. I'm saying a plan, I hope this works, but we haven't tried it yet. I'm going to trace this shape. This fits snug around the uh, wheel arch. And then I'm hoping we can use that as a template. Fingers crossed. Around our, uh, to shape our tile, which will be going later. Mm -hmm. 
be genius if it works, wouldn't it? Genius. Keep going. There's the middle now. Backwards done. Backwards. backwards. on the floor is uh, it's going really well and this stuff um, I can't remember what it's called click final click tile or something it's really good you know uh, you just have to make sure the grooves are in the right direction sounds obvious but if you get that wrong then the whole thing is thrown out so don't lay one tile wrong otherwise you're not presented with the right edges and you just literally sit them in the grooves uh, rubber mallet and it just clicks into place and there's a real sort of kind of like solid join no lips on them whatsoever uh, so really pleased with the way it's going down so far. Double thumbs off. Double thumbs up, innit? We're doing well. Same, yeah. It's Friday afternoon, you know. I know. It's Friday afternoon at what Friday time? Uh, Quarter past four. four. Mm. What, what time do we knock off on a Friday? God knows. It's going to be a late one, I think. Hannah wants to go out, so... It's, oh, it's going to be overtime, I think, today. Mm -hmm. Our moment of truth. I mean, the moment of truth, it doesn't even fit around there, perfect. <laughs> so, start. how do I do this? So, moment of truth, camera went back off, and Hannah, <laughs> Hannah came. So, <laughs> because, because I was baffled, and Hannah came up with a genius idea. So, we're going to mark this as being where the sort of card template starts. And then, if I move it, is that right? If I draw a straight line out there, yeah. and then we pitch it in back there. Mm -hmm. That should be something That's like shape. our shape, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? I think so. You sure? No. It's now your idea, not mine. God. So that's where that's where the mark was? Yeah. Use that as a straight edge. And yeah. This is our shape, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Is that right? It seems it to me. Yeah. I'll just carry that line down. Yeah. Which should be straight at that point, shouldn't it? It's only a straight line, yes, though, it isn't is, it? Yes, it is, yeah. Right. Now's the moment of truth, we've got to cut it. God. Cut's been made. Oh, you could have waited one, this one. I don't think this will fit. No. No. I'm not that hopeful. Oh. If it fits, it was my idea. If it doesn't, it was yours. That'll do that, won't it? I, am, really I can't lay it in, but I'm absolutely chuffed with that. So that was my <laughs> idea, great idea. It's my idea. Look at that. that is Perfect. It is really good actually. Oh, really it's been a good day for me. <laughs> Delighted. It's got to that point in the day now where we're freehand cutting the tiles. Working. Oh no, it's not. No. Ah, oh. oh. God. It's hard work. Measure never. Put 20 times. Mm -hmm. Back again. So we're calling it a day. We managed to get, well, most of it done, really. Yeah, we're almost there. It looks so good. But we've decided after that last piece, we cut about seven times that maybe. I just put the camera on it. It was just, it was one cut. 
That's seven. Plus six. But we thought it was maybe a good time to call it a day. Yep. So we're going to leave it there and carry on. In the morning. In the morning. Good morning everyone, it is, uh, well it's just before 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning and uh, I've decided I've got to go into work later on today for a few hours but we need a few bits from B&Q which is one kitchen unit to finish off our kitchen layout and also a uh, some trim to finish off our flooring so I decided to get up early and uh, get those bits before the day starts if anybody's wondering where Hannah is, well uh, she went out last night so Enough said. Right, so that's being q done. Uh, now quickly back and see if we can get some of these floor strips fitted before Hannah wakes up and uh, a bit of a surprise for her. She's never happy though, because she doesn't like me doing any job without her there. I don't think she trusts me. So I ended up buying uh, two different pieces of uh, trim. Uh, one was a sort of uh, standard off the shelf job, which you can buy with. It's kind of, it's better finished. It's got some grooves in, anti-slip grooves in, pre-drilled holes, but it was a little shallow in terms of the depth on this side. So we also found this kind of L bracket, um, which was a lot, like I said, deeper, which covered this gap that we've created by raising the floor a little bit in terms of that um, insulation. I've just cut one to size, it fits a lot better, so I'm just gonna drill some holes and hopefully that's a really nice finish to the flooring and we'll buy another piece then for the back end. A few bits that I bought to um, finish our edging strip just a little bit neater so first of all some steel drill bits but this thing which I've never bothered using before but I'm trying to do a neat job is a countersink bit so it'll just drill a hole that allows the screw to be flush effectively and I suppose coming in and out of the doorway especially if you've got kind of bare feet on or something the last thing you want is a bit of a raised screw head so we're going to try and finish this job a bit better than I might normally do. Right the plan is try one of these in terms of that little countersink because you can drill as you can see the hole as or the, the countersink sunk as big as you want so we'll, we'll try that to start. That's going to need to be a little bit bigger, that's not going to sink down the way I want it, so we'll go a little bit deeper with the countersink. And normally again, I'm a bit of a, like I said, I've said throughout this whole series, I'm a bit of a bodger if you like, so I would have got to the sort of second uh, effort to countersink it and thought, you know what, that'll do. But I made a little bit more effort, had a few more goes at it and uh, really happy with the way that's finished off so we've just got five more of them to do and i think that's a, like i said a really neat finish the downside is it's absolutely pouring down i'm getting soaked right now 